Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to edit label names in Microsoft Planner. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here with Microsoft Planner, just click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Okay, so editing labels here in Microsoft Planner is a simple process. But of course, it's very helpful, especially if your plan evolves. You may find that your original label names no longer reflect the current needs of the project. Obviously, by renaming labels, you can ensure they match new categories or priorities. So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and click the My Plans. And from here, click the plan that you wanted to rename the label names. All right. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this plan right here. So essentially, you see, we have all of these tasks and it has a corresponding labels. So if I add another label here, for example, uh, maybe a plum, all right? This one is going to be something like maybe yellow. Let's look for a yellow or marigold. This one is maybe light green. All right. So these are color coded, right? But if you want to edit the name of the label so you can customize it the way you want it to see that so it can reflect the current needs of the project, all you're going to do is click on this specific color. There is an option that says edit, edit label. For example, I'm going to rename this as deep and press enter. All right, this one is going to be like laughs and press enter for silver. I'm going to rename that as well. If it's too long, you're not going to be able to read the description. Instead, it's like a, there's a plus one. But if you click that and expand on it, you'll see the uh, whole name of the label. All right. Now, as you can see, when you rename labels, you might want to put in the priority as well so they can match. All right. If it's urgent, this one is very important. This one is all medium or this one is low. So you have all that option to you. Now, because if you don't do this, they become too vague over time. Changing them to something more specific like high priority or critical deadline can enhance clarity, helping everyone understand the urgency at a glance. All right. And as a project evolves and new faces or objectives may emerge, renaming labels allows you to adapt to these changes, keeping labels relevant and aligned with the new priorities for each task. Right, so it's very easy, but of course, the most important thing is it ensures that labels remain relevant to current priorities, goals, and team dynamics. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.